Welcome back everybody. It is officially planting day and also derby weekend. So basically all of you are right. I had to wait till derby weekend to actually put everything in the ground. It is going to get down to 45 tonight, but every single night for the next 10 days is going to be at least 55. So they should be just fine. As you've seen, I have corn. Why am I so excited? I've never grown corn before. I've got squash, I've got zucchini, and I've got some tomatoes we're going to stick in the ground. This ground is really unforgiving and not terribly nutritious. So what I did this year, um, as you can see, I dug some really deep holes and filled them in with something really well draining, which is basically just sand and uh, some really nutritious miracle grow type soil. And we're going to mound that up really deep to give it something to really hold on to. But uh, we do have to dig a few more holes. So I'm going to get on that while we have some light. I'm going to film as much as I can tonight, and when I totally lose the light, I'll just take over again tomorrow. I think I can get most of it done, but I have a lot of plants. That was enough of a workout for me. I'm gonna catch my breath. We're gonna get these holes filled in. We're gonna start with our well-draining soil. This Kentucky clay is really thick. I'm actually pretty fortunate. It's not as heavy as I've dealt with, but it's still pretty flippin' heavy. Um, so if you've ever tried growing a vegetable garden in heavy soil, this is what I do. I dig a really deep hole and I fill it with good soil. Let's get this done.
Now you see these ones touching the ground? Those are gonna have to come off. That's what leads to rot. That's what leads to bad fruit. A whole lot of wasted effort. So anything that's touching the dirt, just pinch it right off. I'd say this one's probably okay. Take this guy. Oops. And tomatoes, as we know, will grow roots all along their stem, anywhere that they have access to a damp soil. So we can really mound that dirt up as high as we want and give them all the support in the world, but we've got to keep it off those leaves. You know what? I'm going to take this one. I don't trust it. It was already starting to... In the little pot that it was in, it was already starting to touch the dirt. So these guys should be a whole lot better off. Typically I wouldn't plant two tomatoes in the same hole or the same pot. The only reason I'm doing this this year is because I have so many tomatoes. I can only dig so many holes and guard so many plants. I don't know what's going to happen with them being close together like this. It could stunt the growth. Um, it could stunt the fruit. I have no idea. I have a lot more tomato plants later coming in the year that have just sprouted. Some heirloom brands that I've been waiting for in the mail and uh, they're only about an inch tall. so. I'll give those plenty of room. These are the guys that I grew uh, last year and saved the seeds. So we'll keep fingers crossed for them, but they're definitely my earliest crop. So we're gonna see if we can't get these guys to get along. If nothing else, they'll support each other. We have some really great tomato cages. I've got some black zucchini and smooth criminal squash. The smooth criminal is one that I'm really excited about. These are the tall ones that are standing up straight. Squash normally grows along the ground in a kind of a lazy vine like the zucchini there, but this is a breed that I picked out of a magazine, I've never done that before, <laughs> that grows up uh, supposedly kind of like a tree, and you pick your squash off the trunk of it. I mentioned this in an earlier video. Now the dirt out of each hole that I dug, um, it's going to stay right where it's at, because as the plants grow and get a lot bigger and top heavy, that'll go in place, that really, really heavy, hard packing clay soil is going to go around the base and offer a lot of support also going to offer a lot of water retention, but for now, while they're little and they're acclimating and they need a lot of water constantly, we're going to keep them in that really, really fluffy light topsoil, and when I put my sprinkler on them here in a little bit, it's going to soak it right in. So I've got more zucchini plants than I have holes. I'm going to fill this entire corner of my garden with zucchini. It's going to be crazy. I'm going to plant them all in one spot. So that's all I'm gonna do for now. Looks like I'm gonna finish up about the same time as my neighbor. I do have a couple things that I'm gonna put in the raised bed, but I'm gonna leave everything, all the space I have here for the little babies that aren't quite ready to come outside yet. I have three holes left, that's but I have room to dig more. I'm just not gonna do that today. All right, we have our tomato cages set up. This is a system I've used in the past and it's always worked well for me. As long as my tomatoes are planted up against a fence, I can skip every other one, and it's still supported on three sides no matter what. We don't know what the smooth criminal squash is going to do, so we are going to give it some support if it needs it. Of course, the zucchini over here, probably not going to need a whole lot. I'll prop them up when the time comes, but they're still acclimating. And I wanted to take this time to offer prayers and well wishes to my friend Bill. Uh, a few of you have heard me talk about Bill before. He's got a channel called The Lone Moose. It's a fantastic channel. I follow it. I get a lot of inspiration from it for my outdoor cooking meals. He's got a lot more wisdom than I do when it comes to cooking and smoking meats. I actually spoke with Bill today. He uh, touched down in Denver for a little while and he is on his way to Anchorage. He's going to be up there for a few weeks, hopefully getting some awesome footage. I could not be more jealous. I've been texting him all day long. But if you guys are like me and you want to see what Bill is up to and follow his wild Alaskan adventures and cookouts, Follow his channel at The Lone Moose.